Hey people, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Martin from Revive here. Just a short video today, a couple of topics I actually want to uh, approach. Um, and one of them is, is imitation the highest form of flattery? So I've got something to talk about there. Just before that, I just want to say the podcast, Revive Yourself podcast, will be out later this week. I've got a couple of, well, I've got four quality interviews lined up this week. Unfortunately, I had to put them back until this week because of the busy Christmas schedule of a few of the doctors that I'll be interviewing. Um, this week, I've got Dr. Wolfson, uh, the paleo card cardiologist, um, Dr. Thomas Levy, um, who wrote about the toxic tooth. I've also got uh, Dr. Ewing, who's another one who talks about the root canals. And I've got Emma Lane, we'll be talking all about referral of pain, which is interesting. But today's main video, the uh, main reason I want to shoot today's video is because I've recently found out one of my former clients is using our programs to help other people. And I got told this by someone. And it's quite dangerous because, first of all, you know, these are our programs that have been developed by myself um, to help people. And secondly, so you can, you can, uh, you can, you can have this information, but unless you know how to use it and what happens when things go wrong, it can be very, very dangerous. Um, for example, you can go put someone through a program. What happens if they hit a roadblock, or hit some turbulence, or go through a healing crisis, and you don't know how to correct it? Very, very dangerous. So, just be really careful with who you work with um, and what they have, and have a look at the results they've got, um, because. People just, I mean, it happens quite a lot in the, in the health industry, fitness industry, people just ripping off other people's programs. And, you know, people have told me to go after go after the person um, with a solicitor, which I can't bother to do because, you know, um, it's just going to give solicitors money. Uh, not that I, uh, I've got no interest in doing that. Um, happens to a lot of, lot, lot of people in the health industry who have got phenomenal programs. But just be careful who you're working with and ask them lots of questions before you go into one of their programs and understand what's going on, why they're doing things in what order. Um, because if you start working with someone who's just bitchy ripping people's other people's programs out off, then when it when if you do hit some roadblock or some turbulence, you could be in a bit of a pickle and they may not have to get you may not know how to get you out of it. So just do your due diligence due diligence and people said, yeah, it's just, it should be flattering that they're they're using your program because it got them such good results. But on the on the on the flip side, it can be very, very dangerous for the clients. And um yeah, it's just, it's not uh something that I would um I would really condone. But anyway, uh just a just a quick one. Be really careful who you work with and really ask some questions before before you start working with them. And secondly, as I said before, the podcast will be out later this week. Uh, the first one I think will be with Dr. Wolfson or Dr. Thomas Levy, all about a toxic tooth. Had lots of uh, kickback from that video. And there's posts I put up last week about root canals and how toxic they are. So I'm going to be doing um, interviewing quite a lot of dentists about that. And if you haven't already, go on iTunes and buy the movie Root Cause, and it'll tell you all about that. You know, so lots of lots of stats on there. So that's it for today, guys and girls. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and if you're going to work with someone, make sure you really do ask them some questions and so they know what they're doing. Okay, have a good day. Speak to you soon.